it's not often that a portrait becomes headline news. So the media circus surrounding the first portrait of the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, caught my attention. Since its unveiling, the portrait has been widely and harshly criticized. As this ABC News headline reads, World reacts to Kate Middleton portrait, lifeless, dull, ghastly. Indeed, just looking at this photo of Kate, we can see that the portrait rendering of her looks older and heavier. The BBC interviewed this noted art critic. Valdemar uh, Januszczak, who's the art critic of the Sunday Times, what did you think of it? Oh, I was disappointed, to be honest. Any good portrait has to get two things right. One, it's got to get the likeness right, and then the other thing is it's got to have a, a conception that means something, you know, a message, if you like. Um, but uh, once you get close to it, I mean, it made her look sort of older than she is, and her eyes don't sparkle in the way that they do, and there's something rather dour about the face. So, for me, it fails on the two most important fronts. Great. Thank you very much for your time, and of course, this is just the first of many such portraits for the Duchess of Cambridge. But is the widespread negative reaction to the portrait justifiable on empirical grounds? I set out to answer that question and conclude that the strong reaction is based on choices the artist made that contradict known principles of beauty and thereby diminish Kate's natural beauty. In this footage from the unveiling of the portrait, we can see the strong contrast between Kate, always a vision of rare beauty, and her first portrait. There's just no question that the portrait appears to show an older Kate, and perhaps 40 pounds heavier. Here we see the reference photo of Kate that the artist used. With this photo, we can test the accuracy of his rendering by placing it over the portrait and toggling back and forth. Notice that the lower jaw is asymmetrically skewed to the viewer's right. Symmetry is a core principle of facial beauty, and this asymmetry makes her appear much fatter on her left side. Notice also that her rendered nose is too wide, and the nose tip appears to be inaccurate. This is very significant, as a narrow nose is a core principle of female facial beauty and the nose tip is the second most important facial landmark for identification. And notice how her right eyebrow is smaller and the angle is pitched upwards. Frankly, this adds a subtle but palpable air of a wicked witch that is entirely absent in the reference photo. In my analysis, I find these problems with the first Kate Middleton portrait. The first and foremost problem is the front-on angle with ambient lighting flattens and fattens Kate's face while obscuring characteristic features. Problem two, inaccuracies in the nose, especially that it's too wide. Three, asymmetrical inaccuracy in the jaw. Four, upward slant to the eyebrow gives an old witch feel. Five, Desaturated colors make her face flat and lifeless. 6. Squinting eyes makes her eyes smaller and therefore less beautiful. With the overlay analysis, we have just observed problems 2, 3, and 4. Let us now consider problem number 1, the first and foremost of them all. Off-center, or three-quarter profile, portraits typically present the most interesting and dynamic facial anatomy. But front-on portraits can be interesting under asymmetrical directional lighting, as in these examples. This lighting brings out characteristic facial structure and dimension lost in the front-on view. However, the portrait of Kate manages to bypass these principles of captivating portraiture by combining the feature-flattening front-on view with ambient lighting that washes out the facial structure and dimension. The combination of a feature-flattening pose with feature-flattening lighting is probably the main problem with this portrait. 
The last but not least problem I found is that Kate's eyes appear to be smaller than normal in the portrait. Compared to two random photos of Kate, we can clearly see that her eyes appear smaller than usual. This is due to her squinting her eyes in the reference photo and the artist accurately depicting this beauty-reducing detail. Her squinting is clearly visible as the lower portion of her irises are covered by her lower eyelids. This is a significant detriment to the portrayal of her natural beauty, for it is well known that large eyes are a major component of female facial beauty. Indeed, cartoonists often exploit this fact with ridiculously enlarged eyes. Yet in rendering smaller than normal eyes, the portrait of Kate yet again takes a path to lessened beauty. So with each of these problems demonstrated, I sought to test the theory that correcting these problems in the portrait in Photoshop would produce a more accurate and beautiful depiction of Kate. 